So I'm not going as quickly as I thought, but I just copied um, the stuff from the paragraph style, the inline, and I pasted it here. Whoops, maybe I didn't. Sorry, it's something something mucked up my my uh, what was saved there. So I'll just go ahead and recreate them from scratch. So font family colon Tahoma. Pick your favorite fonts and stick with them until you know better. And color was uh, teal. We finish with a semicolon. And background dash color is silver. Finish with a semicolon. And so now we'll have the same result except that it applies to all the paragraphs instead of just that one. So here on styles one it applied to that paragraph. And we'll go into styles two and now you see it applies, look at the difference. One was in line, one was embedded, so it applies to all the paragraphs on the page. I could apply it to the body, but we're gonna do a better way to do that. Um, so now I'm gonna go and actually create a link style from the same thing. So we have company styles two already open, and I'm going to do save as, and save it as company styles three. And what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to swipe this whole thing, control X, or cut it, make a new page. Actually, the way uh, Notepad works is kind of funky. So we'll save this, and I'll go into here and make a new page, new uh, text document. And uh, I'll call this styles.css. And note, you can only do that if your extensions are turned on. So make sure they're turned on. And then I'll open that with Notepad and I'll paste those other styles. And because this is its own style sheet, we do not have any HTML, so I'll get rid of this stuff. Of course, you can format a little nicely, get rid of some of these indents and so on and so forth, but in the interest of time, I won't do much of that. So now we save that, but then we have to refer to it. So we go back into our company styles page. We've removed those styles and we create a style tag. We simply type style equals, I mean, we put style, sorry, not even style, we type link, and we put href equals styles.css. So it goes and looks for that file. And we put rel equals, and this is the relationship, style sheet slash CSS. Style sheet, I think it's CSS or TXT, I'm not sure which. Let's see if that works. So we save it, and I put this closing slash because this is a self-closing tag. And we go and we're now going to open styles three. And notice the styles did not take effect, which means that I've got one small glitch in here. It's probably a relationship style sheet and type equals text slash CSS. I'll save that, come back around, refresh it, and bang. Now I'm applying them. Now it would make sense, uh, just to finish this off, uh, if you want to apply it to the whole page, now we simply edit the style sheet. We don't edit the HTML anymore. So we'll go find that style sheet, and we can make a body tag. And we can do body. And in the body, we can put these things that I had in my paragraph that I wanted. Control X and paste them there. And meanwhile, I'll take a minute to clean up a little bit. And uh, this gets a lot easier when you use a proper text editor, where you can use Notepad++, or if you're on a Mac, you can use Text Wrangler. Notice I missed a semicolon in there somewhere. So there we go. And now when you look at the results of this, we go back to the page and refresh and you'll see that it applies to the whole page. And just that small change of the foreground color, the background color, color and the font makes a really big difference in how a page looks. So simply by adding a couple simple styles, you can make something look a lot nicer. So remember three kinds. This is no style. This is uh, an inline style applied to here and a separate one applied to here. This is an embedded style applied to here and applied to all the paragraphs. And this is a link style applied to the body. So there you go.